Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason with JW Classic VW, and we are coming at you again. Another weekend, another vlog. Working on our Volkswagens, right guys? In the garage, having fun. It's beautiful outside, it's sunny, so I'll probably go for a cruise first, but uh, what are we doing today, right? First off, if you like Volkswagen stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe and enable notifications, guys. All right, so what are we doing today? We're gonna be doing some fun. A little bit of beautification. Let me show you what we're working on. Turn the camera around and let's get over there. Ooh. So first things first, my wireless mic. I got dead batteries, guys, so we're doing a directional mic. Haha, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> so you don't need much today because we're just going to be doing a little bit of a beautification thing, a little bit of changing to the styling on uh, Goose's wheels because I've been thinking about this for a while and I've been wanting to do it. And it's a beautiful day today and I'm waiting on parts to come in for other projects that we got going on, you know, brakes and uh, capper bar and uh, yeah, all kinds of good stuff coming soon, guys, on JW Classic VW. But today... All you need is some etch primer and uh, the color of choice that you want to go ahead and do with your wheels. And for me, I'm going for a little bit of a vintage look. Now, stock vintage would actually be white, like true bright white. But uh, I want to kind of match the interior color that I used on my trim for my my, uh, my wheels and some of the other... Not wheels, sorry. Interior stuff of my seats. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was thinking. Man, not enough coffee this morning. So... We're going to be doing this, and then, of course, you're going to need some sort of tape, masking tape, to make this happen. So, first thing i got to do is clean up my wheels and uh, do a little taping off and, yeah, show you guys what i got going on. So, let's move over to the car and show you what's going on. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You're also going to need some sandpaper. Let's see, what do we got here? 220. I got 100 and 220. That should be good. We'll start with 100, then move to the 220. It's really a rough sanding, guys, because the paint's in great shape. There's not any rust there. So we're just going to rough up the paint that's already on the wheels that we want to paint. And we should be good to go. So moving over to the car, guys. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's see. start with a big engine guys you hear that thing there's a thunga 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 you want to go take a look Let's go take a look while she's warming up Really digging this new fuel pressure gauge. Working out great. Great price, great gauge.
So yeah, you could wait and let the sun kind of dry those off for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab a towel real quick and just kind of clean it up and uh, help accelerate that process a little bit. Yeah, so go here and dry this off a little bit and then we can start taping off the areas that we wanna go ahead and sand down and paint. And I always like to tape off the areas before I sand down the areas I wanna paint because the tape helps me stay within the lines I'm kind of defining. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. All right. Hey guys. Taking away from the video for one second, do me a favor. If you like what you're watching, and you like the content, and you like Volkswagens in general, do me a favor. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. And then a comment below. So yeah, don't forget to do that. <laughs> now back to the video. Wah. So the area that we're painting again is right in here, this strip in here, and the outer rim right there, this uh, kind of lip. So what we're gonna go ahead and do and tape off is, hmm, well, maybe we'll just do this area. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do the inner area. So I'm gonna tap the tape off this here, and then this I'm not gonna worry about because if I get any overspray in here, I'm not too concerned. So I just wanna tape off this area here so I can sand down in here. So let's go ahead and knock that out. And doing little small strips might make it easier for you. Guys, got them both all taped off, so now we gotta do some sanding, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out and be right back at you guys in a second. Once I finish that the sanding, you all should know how that works back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> all right, guys, see you in a minute. Whew. Well, guys, I got two of them done. You wanna take a look real quick? Let me turn you around and show you what they look like. All right. So here's one. It's gonna look a lot different once I got the, uh, the hubcap on, too. Here's the driver's side. It kind of gives the wheel a totally different look. I don't know if I date yet or not. 
<laughs> but I'll let you know more once I get the hubcap on, but it's definitely gonna look different. Get these uh, back wheels off and get started on the rear end. All right, guys, what you're looking at here is, is the rim with just a couple coats. I put two coats of that etch primer on there, which covers it really nice. And I went ahead and put tape all around the tire because on my first one that I did, I got some overspray out here that I had to get off with some degreaser, but it came right off as long as you do it pretty quick. So what I'm about to do now is hit it with a couple coats of paint and I'm going to shake this up for about uh, three or four minutes and then it's going to be two to three coats. I've been doing two coats so far, uh, two coats of uh, light, uh, light coats of the, uh, the, what is this? It's almond, almond uh, gloss. And we should be good to go. And then I can go ahead and get the, uh, the back wheels on. I like it so far. So, I'll show you guys in a minute. Be back right after I get those coats down. But, uh, well, actually, I'll let you watch that after I get done shaking it up. See you in a minute. For those of you guys curious about that, uh, that type, it's 770 Almond Crystalline. Yeah, Gloss and Animal. It's good stuff, man. I use it on all of the, uh, the interior, too. Inside of the, uh, inside of the, uh, the bug. Like, um... The frames for all my seats and stuff. Yeah, worked out really good. Check out the description below if you're curious about uh, buying a can. I'm gonna uh, link a link it in the description to my Amazon affiliate account. So, as always, guys, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you do buy anything that you see down there in the description, I will get a little bit of kickback, which helps out the channel and buying new parts and supporting this content. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Get about 10 minutes and then uh, come back and hit with the second coat. All right, on to the second coat. Nice thin coats. On this coat, I kind of do a sweeping motion up, provide really good coverage. Now I'm gonna hit this inside. That's it. I'm gonna move it outside so it can dry up. Come on, baby. So let's say you are taking this stuff off and I got some like little bit of dust and dirt kind of like right here. Don't try to get it off with your fingers. Wait till it completely dries and hardens then you can kind of knock it off. A lot easier that way. Oh. 
Put the hubcap on. Yeah, over spray right there. I would say by the fourth wheel, I kind of had it down. <laughs> but it took a few practice wheels to get there. So I like the color. Uh, if you want to change the look of your wheels or you want to change the color of your wheels, and you've got a, a Saturday set aside to do it, <laughs> I would say that it's definitely worth it. I like the look, and I'm going to show you guys here in a second how she turned out. guys that's gonna do it for today we just uh i thought it would be like two hours but it took a little bit longer now more like about four hours to go ahead and get that uh those wheels painted now being this is my first time painting wheels there was a few things that uh that were you know kind of unexpected i had a little bit of off on that that line from the little tape line from the center so i'm thinking about using like a uh just a uh a fine strip of maybe red or black to kind of like define that line a little bit better like with a paintbrush and just run a nice fine line around there and that should clean that up pretty good but we'll see maybe not i am playing with the idea of getting powder coated too eventually but you know this is easier and what if i want to change the paint color i haven't known to change my mind on things sometimes for sure and well that's pretty much it for today guys i want to kind of get out there do a little bit of cruising maybe take my kids get some ice cream <laughs> that's always fun and uh go to the kima car show show off goose because she likes to be shown off all right guys this is jason with jw classic bw and i will see you guys on the next one bye bye